Hello and good afternoon. Well, as you can see, today's lesson focuses on present continuous. So you might be wondering like what is present continuous or how are we supposed to use it? We're supposed to use it to talk about something that is happening right now. You can use it to talk about something that is going on. Going on. What does that mean? Let's look at right now. What do I mean by right now? Like for example, now what am I doing? I am teaching. So for now, I am teaching. I have the ING. The ING is the most important thing, guys, that you have to remember, right? So in this case, I am teaching. That means for now. At the moment of speaking, I am teaching, right? So this is considered as a short time. Short time or now. Like, what am I doing now? I am teaching, right? But let's look at the long time. Okay, let's say I am on my way to, to work, right? And someone called me on the phone asking, what am I? And I'll be, so it will be, I am driving. I am driving. And then, a few minutes later, so uh, I received a phone call with the same question, where am I going or what am I doing? And my answer is, I am driving. And again, like maybe after half an hour, I received the same question, um, what am I doing? I am driving. So what does that mean? It means that I am driving for maybe half an hour or one hour. So in this case, that means uh, my driving process started like in this way started here maybe it started let's say at um, 1 p.m i started driving and then someone called me at 1 15 p.m all right and then maybe uh, i received another call at 1.30 p.m. and then I received another call and so on. So what does that mean? It means that uh, my present continuous is going on and on and on. So this is called long time process. Long time process where the situation started somewhere in the past and still going on until the present. So that doesn't mean present continuous is just about now. It can be about now and it can also be connected to something that happened in the past and still going on until now. The only thing that you need to be careful with is the use of ING. So this is the most important thing that you need to have when it comes to present continuous. All right, so let's look at the rules. Like in here we have, if you are talking about I, so with I we use am, and then the verb in, and then the verb with ing. Okay, like I am, I am teaching or I am driving. So what happened was that we just added ing to the end of the verb in order to make it something continuous, right? We just added ing to say that we are still doing something. Right? So this is with the use of I. Now let's look at the use of he, she, and it. It is basically, the only difference is that we have here he, 
she and it. So what we need to do, we add s. And the same thing with the verb. So it will be he is maybe studying or she is working or it is sleeping. Let's say we are talking about an animal in here, the puppy, right? So the puppy is sleeping or it is sleeping and so on, right? And the same thing with the use of a plural subject like you and they. So what will happen here? We just add are. So it will be we are maybe studying or you are working or they are working and so on. Okay, so these are basically the things that you need to look at if you want to talk about present continuous or it is something that is going on. Okay. Let's look at this sentence. I am doing my homework. What does that mean? It means that right now, I am doing my homework, but the homework might continue until one hour later, or maybe two hours later, or maybe three hours, four hours, we are not sure. But it shows that I started doing my homework somewhere in the past, and I'm still working on it. So this is called working or doing my homework. It shows that I started doing my homework, maybe like um, in the afternoon, like let's say for example at 3 p.m. In the afternoon I started and now the time may be uh, 3.50 or sorry, let's say it is 3.30 and I'm still doing my homework. Maybe now it is, let's say, uh, 5 p.m. All right, and maybe I'm still working on the homework. So that means I am doing my homework. That means I started doing my homework at 3 p.m. and still going on. But there is uh, one thing that I want to tell you about. If you look at this, it shows that uh, I started doing my homework at 3 and now, p.m. Let's say it is 9 p.m. I'm still doing my homework. But maybe, right? Just maybe, right? Maybe, like, I started doing my homework at 3 p.m. And then I stopped. Maybe I took a break for 10 minutes. And then I continued doing my homework and then I stopped, I continued working again and maybe I stopped and then I continued working again. So meaning that you might be working on something, but at the same time, you can be taking some break in between, right? Let's have another example to understand uh, this process quite well. All right, let's look at this sentence. She is enjoying the party so here we have she with us because she is and then we have the ing form because we are talking about something that is happening there is a party that is going on uh, right now and she is in the party and she likes it she is enjoying it so that is why we are using ing in here all right so in this case because we are talking about something that is happening at the moment of speaking so we will say she is enjoying for example you want to make a question about this thing so what will happen if you want to make a question you have to be careful with there are two types of questions one, uh, one type of question where the answer is only yes or no. 
and the other type of question where you can provide details right so in here let's say for example you want to provide i mean you want you simply want a yes or no answer so in this case we have she is so okay s to the beginning of the sentence and then s she and then enjoying the party also can be yes or no so for example if the answer if the answer is yes, so we write yes, followed with the comma. The comma is so important. So yes, and then she is. Yes, she is, and then she is enjoying the party if you want. Or no, with comma, she is not. enjoying the party so this is so you can use yes or no if you are looking for just a short answer but if you are looking for a detailed answer like for example you want to know what is she doing uh, like uh, in the party is the party or what time is she all right you want to ask her like uh, when is she coming back so in, in this case you can say when coming when is she coming back from the party so in this case we if we start the question with wh that means we will be providing a long answer we will say something like uh, she's coming back at 11 p.m. because the party is still going on and they are enjoying the time. They have so many things to do over there. They are meeting friends and so on. So this is actually you can use if you start the questions with WH. And so this is all about present continuous. I really hope you managed to understand everything about it and if you have any questions or if you have any um, topics or any uh, anything that is hard for you to understand, drop your message in the comment section or, uh, or feel free to send me a message on Facebook or in Instagram and I will reply to your questions as soon as possible. So as for the uh, upcoming lesson, uh, the upcoming lesson will actually focus on the pa will focus on past continuous. So um, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with the upcoming lesson. Bye bye.